Do you have a dream that you keep putting off because you just can't find the time? 10 TV's Kristen Hartman met a Newark couple who got tired of waiting for tomorrow. Yeah, they really have a just do it approach, Tracy. Jim and Mary Competti didn't let full time jobs get in the way of the hobby of a lifetime. This week's Side Roads of Central Ohio takes you to their old world garden farms. If there's truth to the old saying, the couples who play together stay together, then Jim and Mary Competti. Hey, you got three more have many years ahead of them. I think it just made us stronger and closer together. Everybody can have their dream. You know, don't don't limit yourself. The Competis sure didn't. They had a shared love of gardening and three acres of land. But it was just a big field, um, a brush and... Mind I tell you, she said it was mowed off in the last few years. I think it had been six or seven. <laughs> so we, we came out here together, we looked at it, we just kind of yeah. laughed and decided, let's, let's do it, let's clear it off. So for a little perspective, this was what covered all of this. Absolutely. It's, oh my uh, gosh. It took some time to clear it off. They did it themselves, and in September of 2010, their farm was born. In just three years, they rebuilt a barn here, and they planted their garden. Oh, we do over 3,000 pounds of tomatoes alone. 3,000 pounds of tomatoes. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I don't even know how many peppers, thousands. Thousands. thousands of peppers. Enough wow. that people usually run from us by the end of produce season. <laughs> Keep in mind, Jim and Mary have day jobs and kids, but that doesn't stop them. They also cultivate honey. They're growing grapes for future winemaking. Just one of those things. We're, we're going to learn it. We're, <laughs> we're going to learn, learn it. it. And they decided to raise chickens, 17 of them who they gave a home by constructing a coop themselves, of today. course. Hi. Hi guys. On their daily visits, they pick up 15 to 17 eggs. The chickens have names and they're a hit on the Competi's blog, Old World Garden Farms. Like their hobby, it's grown too with fans. Anywhere from five to 10,000 a day. Checking in for recipes, farm updates, and DIY tips on things like canning. Is there anything you shy away from when it comes to produce on this farm? No, we try about anything. Yeah, you, you even do your own pepper flakes. Their farm to table living is inspiring people the world over. They get blog comments. You guys are such an inspiration to those who dream of a simpler life. I think the best was uh, they were in the desert somewhere over in Saudi Arabia or somewhere and they asked what we should do and I looked at her and I'm like, what do we tell them? <laughs> I don't, we don't live in a desert, but you know, it's that community, it's that spirit. It fuels their passion. Where do you find the time? You Pulls make time for what you love. Quite a hobby. It's quite a hobby. It's quite a hobby, but you know what? It's, it's our gym membership and ours just stands for, you know, garden yard maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just about everything they have on their table, with the exception of meats and dairy, comes from their farm. So what started as a hobby for the Competis has become a way to live. If you have an idea for Side Roads of Central Ohio, I want to hear from you. Just connect with me on Facebook and pass your story along.